Good morning. It is Saturday morning, September the 3rd, and we will be getting started here in just a moment. Um, first, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. If you click on the bell, it will notify you when I upload new videos. If you like my videos, um, then hit the thumbs up, um, comment down below, share my videos with your friends. All these things are free for you, but they will help my channel to grow. And I am um, truly grateful for all the support that you give uh, this channel. So let us get started with our reading. So grab your coffee or tea and let's find out what our lessons for today are. In the position of the body, we have the five of pentacles. And this talks about in times of struggle, there's always someone willing to lend a hand. It might be you in the position that's helping or you could be the one who needs the help. Access your situation and look for help if it's needed to get past your current struggles. All things are temporary. This too shall pass and brighter days will be ahead. In the position of the heart, we have the star. Be true to your core. Trust that you are protected and looked after from higher realms. This card shows us that great shifts in circumstances and reminding you that um, you can let go of the past and face the past and that um, you can face anything as long as you are your authentic self. You are always in the right place at the right time, no matter what. In the position of the mind, we have the Ten of Swords reversed. Um, you are ready to heal from past hurts. Um, it might be a long process. Relief can be found by talking it out with uh, a friend or a loved one. You are combating inevitable change, which leads us into the messages from spirit, which is the tower reversed. Someone is going through a significant personal transformation. You are, are instigating the change and calling into question your fundamental beliefs, your values, and your purpose, and your meaning. You might go through a spiritual awakening as you discover a new spiritual path. You may change your beliefs and opinions about important topics. Trust the process and know it's for the best. You are creating change and transformation so you can step into a new, evolved version of yourself. The tower reverse can also indicate someone resisting change and delaying the necess necessary destruction and upheaval. And as much as you don't want to, you need to go through this to learn a valuable lesson and to make progress in your life. The more you delay it, the more um, it's going to force itself into your life. Transformation from the tower is inevitable. On the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Pentacles. And she reminds us to focus on creating a calm and balanced life for yourself. Be resourceful and practical, dealing with issues as they arise, using straightforward solutions that fix the problem with minimal fuss. Maintain compassionate, nurturing, practical, and down-to-earth attitude when dealing with others and your present circumstances. Be generous with others and share your wealth and abundance with those you love. And our overall energy was the family tree. And it's about expansion and legacy. And it says the tree represents the lineage of a family. 
with a baby in swaddling hanging from one branch and a couple standing under another. This signifies an expansion of your family, however, through a marriage, the coming of a child, or both. It could also herald an increase in family celebrations or connections with close friends. A reunion, a wedding, or some holiday gathering may be coming up. And whether it's a big personal change, such as the birth of a child or a shared event like a birthday party, let yourself welcome the experience. Embrace a growing sense of family with your friends as well. The love that you bring to each relationship is part of your energetic legacy now and for generations to come. So, the main message that I'm hearing here, it talked two or three times, the Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords reversed, the Tower reversed, is all talking about change. And... In some of these cases, we're instigating the change ourselves. In some of these cases, we're resisting and delaying the change. And what I know about this is that when the tower shows up in your spread, change is coming one way or the other. Um, you can either just go ahead and rip the bandage off and be done with it, or you can drag your feet and let and keep dragging your feet until it just explodes in your face because the change is going to come one way or the other. You're not going to stop that. What you can do, what you can control, is how you react to it and how you respond to it. And the queen is reminding us to stay calm, to stay down to earth, to be practical, to be compassionate and um, work through things with minimal fuss. And the, the Five of Pentacles is talking about that even though we're going through the struggles, that there's always help being offered somewhere. Either we're the one that's offering the help or we're the one that's needing the help. And then the star reminds us that Everything is possible. Um, your dreams can come true. You can wish upon a star. And as long as you are authentic to your true self, that you can work your way through anything, that to remember that everything is temporary and that this too shall pass. And the overall energy being focused on our family and what kind of legacy do you want to leave behind? Um, you know, it, it, it shows that family tree and, you know, a lot of us have, have got that big family tree and, you know, maybe somebody's having a baby, somebody else is getting married, maybe somebody just got married and they having a baby, but families grow, but families can also be the strength that each other needs to lean and rely on. So... It's up to you how you want to face this change that's going to come.